Okay, so hi, I'm Mushan. Um, a couple of affiliations for you. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And I want to talk about uh, beyond sharing open source design that's uh, bl blasting through a longer presentation. Um, so j just when we have a problem, we or me in, in that case being on the, on the top left in yellow trying to reach the bottom right in green, if it's really easy for me, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't have a, a reason to collaborate. But usually it's not that easy and then um, there's problems but also opportunities for collaboration because I'm not the only one who has problems. There's a lot of us and a lot of us are trying to get to different places. Now, here is where we can meet halfway through and, and maybe if we document it well, we can m make sure that it's easier to get to that point and then move together to, towards our goals and from that point, each of us reach their own goals and basically this is where open source happens. Um, and and how, how does that work with design? B b with design, there the are a couple of problems. Well, one of the things that works uh, for, motivations in co for motivation in code is low costs for collaboration. We have a chicken and egg problem with design because designers don't, don't use open source software and then they don't make open source software better and then they don't use open source software and I don't have enough time to continue. Um, process. Um, one of the things that, that we're using in code is granularity. Both in, both in software and in wikis, we have the character and the character gives us ladder of contribution. Anything from a type of fix to a whole set, set of uh, articles in Wikipedia is contribution. You also get history, moderation, transparency. We don't have that uh, in design that easily. Language. So, I'm telling you something I hope you understand, but you're basically getting something else. When we're coding, I'm, I'm using a, a programming language. Um, the, the computer understands me. I, I, I send the code to a central repository, and, and we're all using the same code for communication. That, that creates m much easier collaboration. Um, we have a problem because the first thing that we're doing when we're designing is define a language. Imagine trying to collaborate on code without knowing wh which, uh, which uh, programming language you're even using. Um, and and in, in the other side, when you're trying to understand the code, um, in coding, um, it, it either executes or not, so, so you know if you communicate it or not. You don't have error messages above people's heads. Um, uh, and another thing is inconsistency. If I'm inconsistent with, with, the, with the way I'm communicating, people won't understand me. And even the decision making in Wikipedia, which is a non-programming open source project, is largely rational. So did I come here to, to convince you that it's undoable? No. I think it's, it is doable. I'll just use one example. Um, one example. One example. Okay. Yeah, uh, one example. Um, th this blog uh, was posted by Jane, I believe, a, a year ago, um, inviting people to submit icons for the for WordPress 2.7, and. When the, uh, when the icons were, 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 were voted on, um, this was what one, of the, um, uh, one of the questions uh, um, Jane basically asked, um, do you like it or not, uh, you know, perfectly okay, not sure. That, that, that's, that's, you, you've seen that before. What I was completely inspired by was this. For example, what do you think about the metaphors for each one of the icons? And, and then breaking the metaphors for each, uh, each of the contributions to, to things to, to consider. And that's how I basically learned that, that as much uh, as the chameleon that, that I did with my students is not basically a very good um, metaphor for the appearance. Um, and and th these are the icons that we, that we got and, and even me and my students actually uh, voted for, for, for this one because we thought it was the best one, not ours. Um, so just fixing it, motivation. We can't force the use of bad tools and the success that we, we're having is mainly code based. So there's more work, work to be done there. But uh, process wise, put the files online, explore versioning for, for design, use code when it's possible, De definitely when we're talking about CSS. Um, 
language. Um, we we have the we, we can we can do networked research. We can uh, create extensible languages like CSS. Uh, we should document the language. Um, and and when when we're talking about comprehension, um, th there's a lot in design that is rational, like, like user experience, the, uh, technical, and so on. And we can document that on blogs. Um, so just finishing with this uh, example, what we have here is example of leadership on one hand and openness on the other. Other hand, uh, the openness example is not a, an amazing uh, design work, and it's definitely not accessible. So what we're looking for is is a combination of leadership and openness. And the, this diagram, which I won't explain, is slightly more nuanced. And I think that's what we're getting from uh, WordPress, which I'm very inspired by. So thank you, guys. Um, we can't just uh, sprinkle open source on ev anything, including design. We need to really understand what's going on there and how to make it better. I would love to get uh, your suggestions. Thank you very much. Um, the, slides, the slides are on mushan.com. I have a bunch of uh, papers in my hand, so later. Thanks. <laughs>